Hello everyone and welcome to a new adventure in the Hair in the Wall Redux Edition, which means that this is an expanded version of the original Hair in the Wall game, which I didn't really see much about, but I'm kind of curious why not, because this game looks really creepy. So if you did play the first game or if you saw it played, this one apparently has more story to it, so if you had questions or were confused by the first game, maybe you'll find some answers in this one. I don't really know. I already have questions and I'm searching for answers and I didn't even start playing this game because like I said, it looks really freaking creepy. All right, but apparently we moved into a new house and we're putting something in the basement and we found something a bit peculiar. So I'm just gonna let the game speak for itself and we're gonna find out our answers. Okay, day one. All right, seems like a lovely house. You've just moved in. New house, new job, new life. Oh, that's nice. Everyone needs a new start, I guess, unless you're a murderer. Then you, you probably just not not have done that and you should probably go to jail. But I, I guess if you're not that, you, you, the new start's nice, yeah? Okay. Well, <laughs> you were putting up some shelves down in the basement. You noticed something odd, a hair in the wall. Yeah, no, that's definitely up there on my list of odd things in the wall or in general, like why, why is there a hair in the wall? How did it get there? Why? I don't understand. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that's fucking, that's weird. That's definitely weird. Should I touch it? I don't want to touch it. Whose hair is it? What if it's mine? What if it's the last owner's? Oh, what? You've pulled it off. Now let's go to bed. Okay. Good job. I, we did it. Nice. The neighbors have come to welcome you. Let's pour some wine. Okay, it's lovely. We're a nice host. Maybe there's still a bottle in the basement. Oh no, it's gonna be back. Yep, it's back. Okay, um, it's longer. That's a lot longer. Holy shit. Um, can I just get my wine and, and leave or do I have to pluck it? I can't pluck it. I can't, I can't touch it. Okay, got the wine. All right, it's there again. You know you want to. Go on, pull it off. I don't. This makes me really uncomfortable. Don't encourage this. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like pulling hairs to begin with, let alone strangers' hairs, let alone strangers' hairs from my wall. Last night was rough. You didn't get any sleep. Oh, why not? It was weird to think about the hair. Why was that hair still there? You're pretty sure that you pulled it off the day before. Yeah, I, def I definitely did, but you know, hair grows back, so we probably just didn't pull it from the root. There's no time to think about it have to go to work and you're getting late okay oh it's a nice computer don't oh, turned it on what was that the was that the wall you saw it didn't you i saw it i definitely saw it we're going insane aren't we this is probably gonna make our productivity go down to work and probably gonna get fired you haven't been back down in the basement since the day that of that welcome party what if it's there again I don't like that. I don't like that thought. In that case, better be sure to end it once and for all. Let's scrape it off. Okay. Yeah, no, that's smart. Oh, Jesus, that was fucking loud. Okay, down the basement one last time. And it's there. At least it's not, I think it's a bit longer. I'm not really sure. Oh, wow. It's no use. It doesn't want to come off. So we just left it? Should we call it like an exterminator or like a hair salon or something? You're in the hardware store. You don't recall if you've slept, eaten, or went to work. All you know is that you've gotten to get rid of that hair in the wall. And for that, you need powerful tool. Okay, let's go for the most expensive one. Oh nice, okay. <laughs> wow, okay, $3.99. <laughs> okay, got it, okay. Let's hope this will solve your problem. All of your problems. Is this really my only problem in life? Okay. What? How does that even make sense? It, there's no wall for it to be coming out of. There seems to be a room behind the wall. What? Need some light to take a better look. You left your trusty flashlight upstairs. Let's go get it. Okay. A trusty flashlight. Hey, buddy. We're going on another adventure. The truth is near. I don't know if I want to find out the truth. What the fuck? What? There was a hole here. It's gone now. Well, thank you. I noticed that. 
Okay. Oh, we're just gonna let that just sit overnight? Okay. Nice. <laughs> you had the best sleep of your entire life. <laughs> okay. The hair vanished. The hole was never there. Nice. Probably gonna get our safety deposit back on this house then. Okay. We're safe now. Finally. I don't trust that. What? No. 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 N N Fucking hell. Alright. Ugh! Fuck. That's loud. That's really loud. Okay. Alright, Jesus. H. Alright, man. You dreamed about that hair again. Maybe it's back. Don't leave your bed. Don't go down there. And it's down there. And it took out our fucking shelves. Oh, fuck. Okay. What the hell? There is a room back there. What? Hello there? Hello there? Hello there? What the fuck? Do you see that face? What the fuck was that? You've, you never moved from your old house. You're still stuck in your old job. And you're still living your old life. What? I thought I did all of those things. What? Can you hear me? Are you still listening to this voice? Does it came from the basement? Or is it just in your mind? Did you really think that you could actually pull it off? That's funny. But don't worry. I'll keep telling you this story over and over. Why? Because I'm your dead wife. And I will never forgive you for what you did seven days ago. What? What? What did we do seven days ago? I guess we murdered our wife? And her ghost is haunting our mind to think that we've moved on to this new life. And it's just slowly making us go insane. So she was putting on an illusion for us to think that we've moved on and we got away with it. But really we're stuck. And we're never going to escape. And we're going to keep living out this scenario. Like, over and over again. Until we go completely insane, I guess. Even though I thought we went insane pretty much at the end there. Oh, that's weird. Let me know what you guys think of this game. Did you play the first one or see it? I don't, I don't really know how much this added to it. I kind of want to go back and see what the first one was. Just to see the difference. But, what do you think of the story? Like, do you think that we murdered our wife or... Maybe she just died in an accident, but she blames us, or we blame ourselves. Either way, thank you all so much for joining today's adventure in the hair on the wall. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you enjoyed the rest of your day as well. I hope to see you in next adventure. Bye-bye.